This is all the name of the game, right? Buying things secondhand. $30, I'm a haggler. I may have forgotten to measure. I'm so close, which is what makes this so frustrating. Hello, my name is Rachel and I just moved into my own one bedroom apartment. One thing I have come to realize is that I really don't have a lot of furniture, like pretty much no furniture. So I've never really been that big into decorating. I've actually had the same tattered map of the world on my wall since like 2014. But since I'm older now and this is the first place that's just mine, I really wanna put some effort into it to make it feel like my home. But I also don't wanna spend a lot of money. So I thought it could be fun to challenge myself to furnish my living room for only $500. So the only other rule is that any item that I acquire for this apartment has to be secondhand, which is also probably the only way I can do this since secondhand furniture is way more affordable. Not only does new furniture cost a lot, it's also really not great for the environment. In fact, the EPA reported that in 2017, about 12.2 million tons of furniture waste was generated in the US. And in 2015, US homes were estimated to spend about $121.7 billion on new furniture. So right now, here are the items I currently have for my apartment. A lamp, a rug, this chair I got from Merle, a coffee table, Nope, wait, that's a laundry basket. So here are the items I need to find for my apartment. A couch, a coffee table, a TV stand, a TV, a bookcase, and then I also wanna get some plants and decorations with any leftover money that I have. Is this going to be possible? Who knows? I am very afraid. We're gonna do it anyway. I'm getting a little nervous now because I'm remembering how indecisive I am and how picky I can be going into Goodwill and we'll see if I find anything here. I'm not seeing a ton of furniture here, but there is something that wasn't on my list, which is just this little adorable side table. And I think it could actually be really cute if I spray painted it. I think I'm gonna get it. It's only $20. Not only did I just get that little side table, which I didn't need, but I also got this adorable wicker basket for $8 that I can put my yoga mat in Goodwill coming through. I have now spent $27 and I haven't even gotten anything on the list yet. Now I'm gonna try looking for some used items online, which is where I think I'm gonna have the most success. First, I'm gonna try offer up. So let's see if I can find a couch. This is the piece of furniture I think I'm the most nervous about finding. Couches tend to be expensive and I really want one that I actually like. I think as far as color goes, ideally I'd want like a neutral. Let's start with zero and we'll go up to $200 just for the heck of it. This is a sectional sofa for $60. I wonder if there's something I could do to kind of like patch up this damage on the corner of the couch. This is actually a beautiful couch. I do like the olive green color. This is a pretty nice couch for $90. Would this even fit though? Okay, I think I'm gonna ask what the measurements are for this couch. Wow, this person's saying they originally got this couch for $3,000 and they're selling it now for 50. See, you can get really nice stuff secondhand. Ooh, I have an inbox. They said 119 inches by 98 inches and that it's still available. So let's go measure. Okay, so I just measured and unfortunately that really big sectional couch doesn't look like it's going to fit. I just got back on here and I was looking around and I found this other couch. It's only $25. I just reached out to this woman to see if it was available and she said it is. So I'm gonna see if I can come pick it up this weekend. But I think this might be the couch. So while I'm waiting for her to respond, I think I'm gonna go check out Facebook Marketplace now and I need a coffee table. This is a coffee table slash storage chest can put stuff in there. What is this? Rustic coffee table for $60 19 hours ago. And it's really close to me too. Selling very cheap 
because it has a slight wobble if you push it. Easily can be fixed with the right screws. I'm gonna see if he would sell it to me for $50. There is this group that I think Ari Jackson had told me about. It's called a buy nothing group. It's basically a group in your local community that offers items that they no longer need. And then if you need something, you can go into the group and ask to see if anyone has it. I don't know if asking for a TV is like too much. I do need some potted plants for this living room. So maybe I'll see if anyone has any extra. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna check out an OG, which is Craigslist. Maybe Craigslist will have a TV. This is a 52 inch sharp liquid crystal TV. No remote, no power cord, no stand. I don't know if I wanna do that one. Ooh, okay. Sharp Roku TV, 50 inches, in excellent condition. It's selling because I just purchased a bigger TV. They're selling it for $120. I wonder if I can talk them down. This is the ideal TV that I want, so I think I'm just gonna see if they'll take $100 for it. The guy got back to me about the coffee table. $50 would be all right. Be beautiful. The woman from Off Rough with the $25 couch just got back to me and she said she's free tomorrow afternoon. I think I can start making moves then to get the pickup truck for tomorrow. So I'm gonna go grab the coffee table now. Hopefully I can arrange some other things to pick up tomorrow so I can rent a truck. I have a table. I really like it. The only thing I have to say is it does wobble a bit. When you get there in person, don't be afraid to be like, hey, this is more wobbly than I was expecting it to be. Can we actually do $35? When I got there in person, I was too nervous to say that to his face. So I just said, it's fine. And I paid $50 for it. So don't do what I did. This is all the name of the game, right? Like buying things secondhand. So I'm definitely learning along the way. I'm heading to, it's called Restore and it's part of Habitat for Humanity. People donate their furniture and other used items. So I'm gonna go check it out. Maybe they have like a cheaper TV here. Okay, so it looks like they have some TVs here, but they're a little bit smaller than I would like. For $100, I can get like a much bigger TV that's a lot nicer and newer. And after going to the store and seeing they don't really have a big TV selection, I think I do wanna go with the one from Craigslist and it's great because she just got back to me and told me that it's available and she will do it for $100. So I'm gonna try to look for a TV stand now and see if I can find anything. Ooh. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, it's 120. So that's more money than I wanna spend, but I also haven't spent as much on other items as I was expecting to at this point. So I have a little bit more wiggle room here, but let me see if she would take 100 for this. This woman already just got back to me and she said she can do it for 100, but she can only do next Wednesday. This is probably the trickiest part of this whole thing is coordinating this pickup. So hopefully we can make this work. It's a new day. And I'm gonna check and see if anybody got back to me from the Buy Nothing group. Oh my gosh, somebody messaged me back. She said, hey Rachel, I have some plants that need a little TLC and we'll be happy to give them to you. Amazing. So far I have spent $303. And I really still just need a bookcase and I'd also really like to get a second couch, which I think now I'm gonna be able to afford. So I wanna see if I can find a couch that fits within my budget and that I can also pick up around that same time on Wednesday. Couch for $25. Oh, but it was posted two months ago. The cushion looks a little like it's seen better days. Here's a round love seat, but it was from five months ago. Definitely is moved by now. Ooh, I kind of like this one. It's gray slash green. I'm gonna see if this is still available. And in the meantime, I think I'm just gonna ask on Instagram if any of my friends happen to have furniture that they're trying to get rid of. All right, so while I was just posting that, it looks like somebody responded. One of the green couches, he said, yes, it's available. Oh my gosh. So asking 120 for the couch, should I ask if he will take 100 for it? He's been trying to sell this for five weeks, so maybe he will take $100. I just got back from picking up the TV. I somehow just managed to carry it up these stairs and I didn't drop it in the pool, so that's a success. I mean, that's part of this, you know, buying things secondhand and picking them up yourself. It's gonna be more work than say, like getting it shipped to your door. But I got this thing for a hundred dollars. 
And when I look up the price online, it looks like it's on sale, but even on sale, it's still like $400. I mean, this is the way to go. Guess what? So the guy just got back to me and not only did he say yes to the $100, say yes to the Wednesday pickup, but he specifically can only do Wednesday night, which is the only time I can do because I'll have the truck then. Serendipity. He got a green couch. He got a green couch. So one of my friends responded to my Instagram story and they have a bookcase. It's not the kind of bookcase I would normally jump all over and I didn't really want a white one but I was thinking that since I'm gonna go get spray paint to spray paint the side table anyway why didn't I just spray paint this bookcase so I'm heading to Home Depot right now to see what my options are he's gonna mix my own paint color for me I am leaving Home Depot didn't have enough of the spray paint in the color I wanted and then the guy was like, why don't you just get some regular paint and use a roller? And I was like, yeah, obviously. So now I'm going to go paint this tomorrow and I'm very excited. All right, it's Wednesday morning and my friend just dropped off the bookcase. So you know what that means. Let's paint. time but I'm finally done with both coats and I'm so happy with how these came out. This is like a really affordable way to take some old furniture you have lying around instead of getting rid of it to give it a new life. I'm here with Jojo. We're on our way to get the furniture. It is time. This is not a drill people. I'm so excited. We just got the first couch and the TV stand. We're gonna drop them off and then go get the second couch. And Johanna kindly pointed out to me that <laughs> there might not be room for a second couch in this apartment. Did I measure ahead of time? No. All right, we're gonna have one couch. We're gonna be a one couch household. I'm really disappointed that I didn't end up getting the other couch, but I feel like it's gonna be too tight of a squeeze. Should have measured that better. It's okay. Tomorrow's a new day. Not giving up, I still wanna find something that's gonna fit in that space. So I'm thinking like a big oversized chair since I didn't end up getting the beige couch. And then I also am gonna need some throw pillows to go on the green colored couch. I found a beige oversized chair that I really liked. And I also found some throw pillows that I really liked. So I reached out to both of those people. Hopefully I will hear back. The lady just got back to me about the chair and it's still available. She's asking 125 for the chair. I just asked if she'd accept 85. We will see what she says. One of them got back to me about throw pillows. She wants $35 for two throw pillows. I can go buy new throw pillows for $35. I'm getting a little spicy with this woman. I said the most I can go is $30 because for any more, I might as well just buy new ones. Ayo. But an exciting update is that the person got back to me about the chair and she accepted $85 for this chair. I'm getting really nervous about the budget now of everything. If I spend $30 on these throw pillows, I'm gonna be over $500. Oh my gosh, she responded. She said, that's fine, $30, I'm a haggler. But I'm still over now. I still feel like I have done very well in this challenge so far. I think I'm just gonna be okay with that. So luckily my friend has a truck and he was able to help me pick up this chair. I didn't know if we could do it, but we did it. We got this thing inside. I'm very happy with this purchase for $85. I just picked up my free plants that I got from the Buy Nothing group. They look great. I also have some other plants too, so I'm gonna mix them all together. I mean, hey, I got them for free, so that was awesome. All right, so I just got home from picking up the pillows and I love the pillows. I think they're so cute. And the girl actually gave me $5 off because she realized there was a water stain on the back of one of them. And then the girl also happened to be getting rid of this gold lamp. 
that I thought was so perfect and would match everything so well. And she sold to me for $10. So I was like, I can't say no to that. So now I have everything and it's just time for me to put the whole room together. Okay, now it's time for the big reveal. I am so happy with how this living room came out. I had no idea how I was gonna pull this off and I really exceeded my expectations. It's crazy to think I got everything here secondhand and for $100 or less. I love how the painted bookcase came out, especially once I added in my books and my plants. I love how the pillows match the couch and the rug. I think they're so cute. And I'm really happy I ended up not getting a second couch because I really like how the big oversized chair fits into this room. I think one of my favorite transformations is really the little side table because that looks like a completely different item now. I can't believe I got it for $20 at Goodwill. But I love how everything here really feels like it's my style and matches the theme I was going for and that I was able to achieve that without buying anything new. So overall, between the couch, chair, coffee table, TV stand, TV, side table, lamp, pillows, basket, paint and the roller brush, bookcase, and the plants, which I got for free, it all came out to $523. So I was $23 over budget, but I think it's fine because I ended up getting more things than I originally had set out to get. So I think I still did a pretty good job. And I didn't add this into the total price, but I also wanna point out that I spent about $85 on the truck that I rented to pick up all the furniture. So that is going to be an added expense unless you already have a truck or you have a friend who will let you borrow theirs. So even though this was a little stressful at times, it was way better for the environment and it saved me a ton of money. Plus it was fun and it let me be creative and think outside the box. So I hope I inspired you to try this yourself and see what you can find secondhand. We did it! Can I watch my TV now?